Hi, happy Good Friday. I'm here today with my terrible voice because I have something that is so on my heart and mind and I want to talk about it for a little bit and that's grief. As a special needs mom, whatever that looks like for you, whether this was a birth diagnosis thing that you were thrust into or um, you know like autism where it's come out over time and you've been sort of processing whether you have a child with total care needs that you are on with a hundred percent of the time that is totally dependent on you or you have a child maybe with intellectual disability or you know whatever whatever this label means to you. I want to first acknowledge that it's different for all of us. Um, but regardless, we were gifted with a child who requires more from us and has changed our life and, and the amount of time and energy that we have to give into parenting. And along with this comes grief. Doesn't mean that you don't love your child. It doesn't mean that you're not an amazing mom. But grief happens because we are processing something that was unexpected, something that is challenging. Maybe it completely turned your life upside down. Um, maybe you don't know what the future looks like. All of this, you know? And grief is something that we have to walk through and it's something that impacts our health. And I want to share this because you are in this group. You may have found me because you came to this point where you realized, you know, I have been swept away into uh, this life, this, and, and that maybe that cycle of grief. Um, and if you're not familiar with that, actually, let me just tell you a little bit about these different stages that we go through. If you've not heard this before, I highly recommend looking up the grief cycle. Um, you know, there's denial, where we deal with a lot of fear and confusion and shock. Um, you know, we become sort of paralyzed and like, wait a minute, what? This can't be happening to me. There's anger, right? This comes out as anxiety. This comes out as frustration. Um, then there is the bargaining phase where we're struggling to find meaning and figure out like, what is this, what is this going to look like? We're reaching out to other people. We're kind of sharing our story, finding a network. Um, there's depression, right? Real overwhelm, real helplessness, real hostility. And like, I can't do this. How am I ever going to do this? And eventually acceptance where we learn to figure out how to live and how to cope with what we've lost and where we're at. So as, as we work through this cycle as moms, we have to, we have to, and we can sometimes go through this, you know, multiple times in multiple ways. Um, this has a really direct impact on you and your health and how you're taking care of yourself, right? If you're anything like me in the early stages of processing all of this, um, I, I sort of just shut down. I shut down. I stopped paying attention to me. Um, I stopped paying attention to eating well, drinking water, sleep. I mean, everything, all of my fundamental needs. I was like, who cares? And you can let me know in the comments if, if you've experienced something similar. And, you know, eventually what that created in me was a lot of anger because of the grief, but also because I wasn't meeting my needs, right? And so you might have found me because you're feeling that, that anger, that frustration, like, like I've got to figure this out. Like, I feel awful, you know? I'm struggling with anxiety. I'm just I'm struggling to, to figure this out, and I don't like how this feels, and you're angry about that. And that's okay. It's okay. Um, but as you, as you start to move through and, and come through these phases to acceptance, this is where we will finally have the capacity to start looking after our health. Because if you're stuck in 
depression, if you're stuck in that helplessness, um, you may see and know that you want to do things for your health, but not have that motivation and not have, you know, that drive to actually do something. And so what I see here and what I, what I experience a lot is moms will come into this group and they'll connect with me and they will be feeling all of the feelings of low energy and weight gain and, you know, aches and pains in their body and tension and, and want to get rid of that. But because they're still sort of processing through this grief cycle are not quite ready to to move out of that because they haven't fully you know accepted and and gotten to a place where it's like okay yep like this is how things are going to be and I want to be my best in that place right and so I want you to know if you're in this group even if you're not ready to start doing things like exercise you're not ready to start you know focusing on nutrition because you're still just figuring out how to take care of your family and your kids and all of that, I want you to know that that's okay and you still belong here. And we still want to hear your story, right? Because all of us have been through that. And I want to give you some hope, really, because you will, you will come out of this, you know, that depression, that, that hopelessness, that overwhelm, you will come out of it. And what it takes to get you from there where you're stuck in, um, I, I use the word despair, right? Because you want to change, but you're not really sure how, and you, you haven't fully gotten to where you're ready. What, what it takes to get out of there is community and support and this knowing that you're not alone. Hey, for me, it was starting to look at other people who were doing the things that I wanted to be doing. You know, it's like, okay, I need to see that this is possible for me. And I need to see that there are, are other moms um, who feel all of the same feelings, all of those valid feelings of grief and depression and anger and I want to run away and this isn't fair. <laughs> We feel this and we have found a way to move forward and take care of ourselves as a mom. Because when you get that support and you get that hope and you have that community to lift you up, um, you can get to that place of acceptance faster than if you were on your own. And this is why I believe in coaching, truly. This is why I believe in coaching because I can tell you all of the things, right? I can tell you what to eat. I can tell you how to fix your hormones. I can tell you how to balance your blood sugar and work on stress management and you know exercise in little bits so that you release stress and, and you're not overwhelmed any more than you already are. Like these are the these are the tools, these are the systems that I use that will work. They work so well for weight loss and healing energy and just getting you feeling great. Um, but on your own, it's so, so hard uh, without that community and that peace that's going to help pick you up and carry you uh, when you fall back into those seasons of, of grief and struggle and all of that. So two big takeaways that I want you to have from this today. I want you to know that whatever you're feeling and wherever you are in that gr grief cycle, um, it is okay. Your feelings are valid, and you can you can be here and and be experiencing that and still be here in this community even if you're not quite taking those steps for your health. However, if you are coming to that point of acceptance and and or see that on the horizon and want to get there faster and and really learn how to thrive as a special needs mom. Um, I want to help you. I want to help you with that. This is not about going on a diet. This is not about, you know, getting you physical weight loss results as quickly as possible, like you're going to get from most weight loss groups. 
but it's about teaching you and helping you figure out in this in this life in this really busy life that uh, that we live where we're constantly giving how to come back and continue to meet your fundamental needs eating right moving managing stress resting and when you get those pieces together with the support of community other moms uh, a professional that's going to walk you on that journey it is so powerful it is so powerful and you will become just that you're going to become empowered as a mom so if that's you and you are moving into that acceptance phase and you're ready ready to get uh, those next steps going but maybe aren't sure where to start or need that extra push next week you guys I am offering uh, a training it's free training it is going to be live on zoom where I'm going to walk you through those strategies that I use with moms I'm going to tell you why maybe some things that you've been trying um, aren't working and why you're frustrated right maybe with different diets or different exercise programs and get to the root issue which is a lot of hormonal stuff that is going on in your body I'm going to teach you those steps that you need to take first and share with you how I can help and be a part of that so if you would like to um, join me next week I'm gonna pop a link here in the in the comments here and Easter is coming, right? I know you're going to get all caught up in all the fun this weekend. So just go ahead and get registered, even if you're not sure. Just go ahead and get registered. Um, I offer this periodically because this is my favorite training that I do with moms. Um, so if you, if you can't make the time right now, just know that it will come back up probably next month. Um, but don't miss it. This is such an amazing opportunity to get in and... Um, and get some support and just as a thanks for coming along I have a resource that I'm gonna be gifting on that workshop that is my um, fast fuel for busy days smoothie guide five minutes five minutes is all it takes to make uh, a meal a healthy meal using smoothies and so you'll get that as a thanks for popping it um, so here comes that link right now yeah and so hopefully next week this is going to be resolved so you don't have to listen to this in the training um, but just know like we've had so many moms come into the group in the last several weeks and I, I want to acknowledge you wherever you are on the journey if you are like gung-ho and ready I cannot wait to talk to you but if not like hang out in the group right continue to absorb you know all the education that I share here for free um, jump in on some of the live events that we do here and share your story if you haven't done that yet please just pop a comment in here um, you can share your story you can share where you're at what you're struggling with you can share um, you know about your kids like let us know who you are and let's make this let's make this a really great uh, community that, you know there's so many moms here who were where you are now and are going to cheer you on as you step forward so you guys have a great holiday weekend and um, I will see you next week for the training if you can make it take care